mid-October, but pretty crazy stuff. Say it ain't snow. This was from Iowa yesterday, closing down some roadways, causing a lot of accidents, a pretty major snow squall that moved through. You can see the destruction, if you will, on the roads. There really was a lot of issues from this system because spots north of Des Moines saw significant amounts of snow. We're not talking just a early season rare snowstorm. We're talking about four, five, six, seven, eight, nine inches in just a couple of hours. So big deal here. This was the squall right there. And this was anywhere from about a half an inch to upwards of two inches per hour um, at least. Some of you, again, on that north side of De Des Moines around Ankeny saw a more impressive amount than even that. So is this a precedent for what's coming? Yes, <laughs> we'll give it away right there. Look at this guy. We have a system for the day today off towards the south. Just a few showers to start things off, but notice we have a frontal boundary that'll form. This will be some pretty decent rain as this moves off towards the east. We're gonna pump in a little bit in the way of mild air across portions of the Midwest Great Lakes. Not too much going on off towards the northwest at that point, but we start organizing another system. Multiple waves are gonna be swinging with this active Pacific jet across portions of the Northern Plains and then digging into the country as well. So this system starts to get organized right like that. Otherwise, we're pretty uh, clear out across the east. The temperature pattern really says a lot. Cold air is gonna be kinda held up there just on the northern periphery. We get this nice warm push of warm air and then here comes the cold. It really builds. Where does it go? Does it go here? Uh, does it go back here? It'll drop back into the middle portion of the nation. We're talking about some pretty chilly air for this time of year by next week into portions of Texas, into portions most likely well into the Tennessee Valley as well. And then we will warm things back up across the West, but this will be important to note what's going to happen with that cold air in a very amplified weather pattern that we're going to be in. Well, another system that tracks off across portions of the northern Great Lakes into Ontario with rain trailing to the south and then get ready again because it's rinse, wash and repeat. Another system forming and this is the one that's going to dig. It's going to ride the cold air down across more towards the south and this is a pretty good stretch of moderate to even some heavy snow that's going to be possible. At least depicted on this model, other models and some runs have had it also. So there is some confidence. It's going to be some flooding rains, a lot of rain off towards the east on this system. But there you go. This is going to be a potential storm, whether it's in the middle of the country or up across the north, that will produce some decent amounts of snow. I don't know about into Texas, but definitely a big deal October type system, most likely. I don't know if these models are out to lunch. Here's the GFS and European showing both some very impressive amounts of snow over the course of the next week with this type of a system. Um, could definitely be several inches. We've seen it happen. Snow contractors, there's so many different forms of free weather information out there. They're changeable, they're not always accurate. And even if they are, they're not specific to your operation and your location. So trust in NeoWeather to give you the detailed information that you need to make better decisions and save thousands. Contact us today.